good boot on it though by Williams and that's Lancaster possession. The ref doesn't give a free kick and John Hume has an opportunity to bring it away. Here's James Poole. Poole's going to go to Johnston, right hand side. Good opportunity here for Old if it's a good ball in it is and no one was there to get on the end of it. Jordan Hume ran hard but couldn't quite make it. In it goes and it's beaten the first man and it's going to come out here. It could be an opportunity here. As he tries to turn the line, the man trying to get a shot away. It is blocked. Second time, left foot hook into the box, nodded out. And again, could be an, still an opportunity. And Thompson can't, Ooh. doesn't come out. And there was a volley. And I think it's smacked off the keeper and away for a corner. I think it's going to go down as a save. Long throw taken. Taken down with the control from Killer from mid the shot. And uh, Tony Thompson gathers it. Good effort there from. Uh, Thomas Killifin and uh, a great throw out by the keeper and John Johnson with an opportunity to run at his man Johnston cuts inside plays a pass to Poole James Poole outside the box tries a shot it was blocked it will go for a corner if the keeper can't get it and he does he does well does the uh, does the Lancaster keeper Josh Powell he uh, gathered that he may go short he does go short actually to Densmore back heel now to Johnston opportunity gets it in the box he's completely sliced it and um it's come out, maybe a handball shout, it's been volley clear. Uh, and as far as Richmond, good ball. Harrison Poole, right inside, Ben Belita comes into the area. Ben Belita could have a shot here. Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper, Josh Powell. That's Old Durham's first clear cut shot on goal there. And uh, it's drawn a save from uh, Joshua Powell. Ben Belita it was, finally found it a bit of space, which is they've just not had so far from that mean Lancaster defence. Throwing's taken by Bailey. In, in field, out, back out to the right, back Hudson. Hudson trying to play the ball forward, but it's headed clear by Johnson, picked up by James. Sorry, you get it right, Jones to Johnson. And again, now this could be dangerous. Edge of the air, shot comes in, tucks it uh, from uh, Craig Carney there. Low shot, so just uh, bubbled off the turf slightly in front of uh, Tony Thompson. But, he but it's taken by uh, Sam Bailey. Gets the return pass, can he get a cross in? He does, it's up to the back post, could be dangerous here. It's headed back on the dust, just over there by uh, Craig Carney at the back post. Ben Belita uh, to let him uh, get away there. Quickly taken by Lancaster over the head of Densmore, just gets a flick on it, but it's picked up there by uh, Killifin. Killifin still on the edge of the area, goes past Densmore. Good cross coming in, could be dangerous now, it's on the edge of the area. Shot coming away, but again, it's just over the bar there. And uh, Altrincham again creating problems for themselves again. It was a terrible pass there, wasn't it? Yeah, but you, you just get the feeling that if they string three passes, well, then it's you now on the corner of the area. Cross comes up, good cross, but it's heavy half clear. Richmond battling on the edge of the area, loses out. Tried to be picked on there by uh, Carney. Holding him in possession again with Richmond. Richmond now to Hancock. Hancock, good ball, England just out of uh, the reach there. It was just... Uh, Played in there for a Moult who uh, was forward there, but he uh, just couldn't quite get the touch past the keeper. Only Thompson. Thompson better clearance this time, left footed. It's uh, all the way up. It's uh, Hancock on the back of the head from the uh, header by uh, Hudson. Hudson then again gives the ball away to Hancock. Now Hancock back to Densmore. Can Oxford make something of this? Three, four players in the area. Hudson, uh, Densmore. Back heel to uh, Malt, Malt getting the cross in, but it's headed clear again. Densmore, central position, controls it, plays the ball into Poole, Poole changes, great shot, and a great goal there by James Poole. Absolutely fantastic finish there. The ball broke to Sean Densmore, he played the ball into uh, James Poole. Bit of room on the edge of the 18 yard there, he managed to turn and hit it right footed into uh, the top left hand corner of uh, Joshua Powell's goal, and that's uh, Gives Altingham the lead with uh, 36 minutes gone and an absolute fantastic finish there, John. It really was, and full credit to the players. You know, I said a couple of minutes ago about a bit of restlessness coming in from the sidelines, a bit of frustration from the terraces creeping in, but was there any sense of panic on the pitch? Not at all. Yeah, this is a lot better up to the area, and that's right under the bar there. That's a lot better corner than the, the ones we've taken previously, and it was right, dipped right under the bar, and Powell backtracking had to. Uh, Flick that ball out for a throw uh, for another corner for Altingham this side. If they have a throw in, they take. 
And pull through ball. Is Johnson on side? He is. And uh, starting on this left hand side, Johnson inside keeps down the line. Ball across. Oh, it's just cut out. And Alti always did it again. They almost scored once again right at the start of the second half. And uh, that's not a great header. And now pull. Pull's going to get it to Hume. Hume has pulled in support. Will we go down the line? He's got uh, Johnson running with him. John Hume as well now. It's James Poole. Poole with the ball to the box below. Tried to flick it in, did Hancock, and just didn't get any connection. But it does come back out to, uh, to Altrigan. They try and lay it off. It's not a great ball at all. Here comes the corner. It's long. It's past the first man. It's a good one. And it's just over the bar. Real opportunity there, and uh, James Jones almost nodded Alti into a 2 0 lead. Now it's Hancock. Hancock turns it well. Opportunity for a shot, maybe. Oh, not too much, and he will get a free kick. Will he? Yes, he will. He just got rid of the ball before being brought down. It is going to be James Poole. Oh, and he uh, tried to put it to the to the side nearest to the keeper, the other side of the wall, to try and trick the keeper. Keeper didn't take the bait. Thompson long towards Ben Belita, should make it, try to chest it forward, does well enough, does Joel, well played. Now, Malt, Hume, can he control it, Jordan Hume does well, try to play a through ball to Malt, but Hume gets a second bite at the cherry, now uh, Malt, now pull, edge of the area comes in, chips it into the box, running in at the back post, oh and uh, just about couldn't make it, I think it was that Densmore I think. It's a throw in again on the far side for Alton. First bounce, but uh, Ian, shot comes in and oh, just for a moment now I thought it hit the back of the net, but it was just to the right hand side of the post. It took, uh, I think it took a deflection. And also we get a second goal to uh, give him a bit of breathing space. This round hit low all the way across the area, and it's uh, by the uh, defence there. It was a low cross coming in. Now then Johnson can he get to the by line? He can get a good cross in, and it's in. <laughs> Great goal there from Jordan Hume. It was great ball for Johnson. He looked as though he was struggling to keep the ball in play, but he managed to get it across into the near post. And it was uh, Jordan Hume there who uh, was unmarked at the front post, able to head it in to uh, give Alton that second goal. And uh, another well worked goal there, John. For, for all the world ball, when, it, when, it, when Johnson, Johnson pushed the ball towards the, the byline, you thought goal kick. But what a blistering pace! I mean, the acceleration, absolutely electrifying, and he got there perfect for uh, Jordan Hume. And Hume read what was going to happen. Densmore, Densmore, poor ball there, and uh, Wood got a foot in, but St. Richmond put, picks up the loose ball now. Then Alton on the attack again. It's flipped forward by Piers. Could be a goal. It's a shot. Comes in. It's three now. It's Simon Richmond who uh, got on the end of it, a good build up there from uh, the halfway line. It was played forward, so I think it was uh, Richmond had the, uh, started the move. It was played forward into Pierce. Pierce got Richmond in and uh, he was uh, in with from about 12 yards out and uh, able to slot the ball past uh, Powell uh, just as he was uh, losing his balance. But again, another great work goal there. Yeah, it was lovely build up, lovely passing play uh, to create the opening ball. And you say you cannot be really pleased for Simon Richmond. But uh, you seldom see a player work as prodigiously as he does over the course of 90 minutes. He's never stopped running. The original Duracell man. Alton and, and, and uh, Piers now uh, on the attack. Going around the outside. It's going to be a foul, certainly. And uh, that's going to be, uh, should be a booking. It was Piers who went past his man edge of the Lancaster area, various signals, two or three players checking the runs are going back, the referee blows his whistle and it's straight in on, oh, could it be in, it could still be in, it is a goal, it was, it was eventually forced over the line, uh, I'm not sure whether that was Richmond again or I think it might have been a known goal because there's no uh, there's no Altingham player who uh, is obviously celebrating or claiming it, but it was a free kick by uh, Johnson. It was uh, hit into the near post, and uh, Powell, I think, was taken rather by surprise. He palmed it out, but it bounced up, and uh, the ball was forced over at the back post uh, to make that 4 0. Gets a foot in, it's into Harrop, Harrop back to Moritz. 
Malt trying to get the ball forward, he does, finds Millen. Millen now he's got Harrop on the left hand side, finds him. Harrop in the left wing position, tries to go around the outside, cuts inside, does well. Shot comes in across the face of the goal, it's not cleared yet though. Miller in, no, he's still not cleared. It's this uh, time it was, uh, well, Miller got the shot in and Piers was coming in, but from an offside position, he just run offside for the uh, previous cross, but uh, just for a moment there, it looked as though uh, we uh, might be in for a fifth. And the referee has checked his watch. And the ball's taken up towards Piers. And uh, there goes the final whistle. So after, a, I won't say a stutting start, but a scrappy uh, opening uh, 20 minutes or so, half an hour, Altenham uh, finally uh, managed to make the possession uh, count.